Okay, I want to show you just a couple different methods, or at least one that I use a lot to check for square. And it's IU, I just call it the 3, 4, 5 rule. And what that means is, so in order, so the equal sides of a, or not the equal sides, but just the sides of a triangle, if this is uh, increment of 3, 4, and 5, that means that this corner is square. So in order to use that application, um, a lot of times what I'll end up doing is if I have a wall like this, now this could be a long wall in a basement, it could be uh, the front of your house when you're building the deck, and you want to build a wall this way, but you don't know how to check to see if it's square against this wall. So basically if this corner is square, right? Because if you just randomly did it, this could be leaning like this or like this, you, you don't know what's square. And especially building anything, especially like a floor system, where if you're putting plywood or decking down, you want it square. So what you do is, <clears throat> um, for one example, is you could just lay, like let's say this line represents a two by four, you just lay that two by four on the ground and you just take your tape measure from here you measure out three feet and you make a mark. So you just make a mark like right there. Then you do the same here as you measure from this inside corner, you come out four feet, make a mark there. Now you know when this is square, so when this wall is square with this long one, is when the point from this point to that point is five feet exactly. So you may have to manipulate this two by four. Now remember, you can't go off of your mark right there. You can't move the front of it, but you can move it this way or this way in order to make this length five feet. Now the other thing you can manipulate is this is just a ratio of numbers, right? Three, four, five. So it could also be, if you do it in inches, 30, 40, 50 inches or it's say you double all those numbers. So you could just go six feet, eight feet, 10 feet, where this would be six, this would be eight, and then to check for square would equal 10 feet. So you could use any increment, you could times each of these by three. So it could be nine, 12, 15 if you want it, and that's for more accurate. If you have long distances, the longer you can go to check for square, the more accurate you'll be. You know, like let's say this wall is 15 feet, and this is 12, you wouldn't do three, four, five, because then you're basing your square off of a little triangle, right? You want to go as big as you, big as you can.